in, the la in last night's highly anticipated final preliminary round fight in the Ryan Effie Contender Boxing Series. It was a fairly large turnout for a preliminary round fight. The draw card was Miguel Iron Dog Ray, a mystery to many, and they turned up to see what he would offer against the experienced Devon Concrete Moncrief. Despite the pre-fight antics, Ray proved toothless against Moncrief. It was Iron Dog who went on the attack, and a wild swing shook Concrete Moncrief. But the 2011 finalist then unleashed a barrage of powerful punches in the second round, which forced referee Ransford Burton to stop the contest two minutes and 30 seconds into the round. With the win, Moncrief improved his record to 6-2 and two and has been handed the number one seed going into the quarterfinal. To be honest, I'm trying to be cautious and, and protect myself. Uh, I never know nothing about him, but I realize that he really can't help himself, so I just have to go step off him. Yeah, me want to give him some rooms, yes, but when I catch him really want to, I realize that he doesn't have nothing left, so I just say, boy, I have to just finish it. But it doesn't make sense, you make a man do that already, and you just make him stay there. But they just kill him and done. I told you, the dog had more bark than bite. Now we see that really, we didn't even deserve a bone. Because what he was doing tonight, it was all scampering, barking and howling. I thought it was in the woods, but you know that it was in the city. So, St. Mary had a good entertainer. Now Kingston had a real good fighter. For Iron Dog Gray, he was pleased to make a difference in the contender series. People have asked me for weeks now, weeks. And I swear, I just, just make a put on a show for entertain. People need, people need work in a boxing and a sport. I entertain her. I am an entertainer. We still need improvement for the bag and in the ring. But as we say, as we go, we learn. You take a couple punch for me, you learn from it tonight. I'm still hungry. You got to feed me because I'm coming for you. Fast. The fans also had their say. The dog dead long time. The dog need a leech. <laughs> the other seeded fighters for the quarterfinals are Tetsa Davis, Richard Brady, and Ramel Subzira Lewis. The quarterfinals will get going next week with Brady squaring off against Ricardo Planta. Ricardo Chambers, TVJ Sports. Now, despite showing a lack of boxing skills, uh, Miguel Iron Dog Ray has created storm amongst the fans with his display of showmanship. Cecil Smith, the brand manager of Ray and Nephew White Overproof Rum, has big plans for the St. Mary man. He brought a lot of people in the audience there. I saw a lot of women who really were, were rooting for him. So hats off to Miguel and his theatrics. Miguel, we owe you a, a tremendous debt and we will continue to, to, um, to keep you close to, to ensure that anything that we're doing, you play a role, especially for the people out in Highgate, St. Mary, because I know that tonight in Highgate and Main Street, there's a huge crowd glued to a big screen in the middle of the town watching their, their, their homegrown boys. So. Well, for promoter Mark Kenny, the Iron Dog needs to learn how to box more to continue being among the contenders. Personality. His ability in the ring is what's the most important. And he showed that he had a bit of personality, but not anything like he needed to have. But like it's about your capability in the ring, isn't it, at the end of the day? 